Welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel. So this is called a sweet deal on this Squire by Fender Classic Vibe 60s Jazz Master. Just been delivered, I bought it for eBay a few days ago, but instantly I've taken it apart. I've gone to tune it up and I noticed it just kept, wouldn't tune, it kept going sort of out of pitch. Then I realized the neck was going up and what it appeared to have happened is these two screws have been stripped out. So when, every time you try to tune it, the neck was just going up and up and up and the gap was getting bigger and bigger there. So I quickly took the neck off and then noticed, uh, um, normally at the factory, if Squire shimmer neck, they put a really thin piece of sandpaper in there. I've seen it hundreds of times if they do. So yeah, when I opened it up, I found this bit of concertina paper in there. So with my suspicions, there's a lot of people out there who don't know what they're doing and they've obviously tried to shim the neck to increase the break angle on these jazz masters. They read a few forums, the internet tells them they need to stick a shim in there, blah, blah, blah. I'll agree, you do need to shim these, but for starters, paper is the worst shim you can put in there Personally, I use a bit of plastic like a credit card or a piece of wood because paper just compresses down so you'll make hardly any difference. Sandpaper like Squire use, they just do tiny little shims. Sandpaper is a bit harder and thicker than, uh, a bit coarser than standard paper. But yeah, somebody's trying to shim it. That was around about there. Again, that's going to make no difference. And then what I think they've done is use power tools to tighten the screws back up and they've stripped out the holes on the neck here and here. So these are the screws that are in the neck. You've got three that are the same size. You've got this longer one. So clearly they've tried to, you know, fix it. I ain't got a clue what they're doing. And stuck it on eBay as immaculate condition works perfectly, blah, blah, blah. Knowing that it, um, yeah, they stripped it out and it just bows out. So when I got it, it was all detuned, which, you know, you send in a guitar, I'll take that because less, you know, uh, pressure on the neck for it to break in the post. So what I intend to do to fix this is leave the shim out for now, see how it plays. But these are crafted in Indonesia. And what I've always found in the past of stripping hundreds of these guitars, Indonesian and Chinese, the Indonesian ones come with skinny screws. The Chinese ones always come with these thicker ones. Thicker and a bit longer. Just a little bit. So I'm going to put all this back together. And I've got a set of these Chinese ones that are thicker. And that should hold it down just good. So my advice would be if you are going to shim a neck and you're not sure what you're doing. Listen to what I'm saying. Be very careful. If you're going to shim a neck, don't use paper. It's a waste of time. Ideally, wood or cardboard. If you're still not that sure, get a pro to do it. And then when you're dealing with neck pockets, do not use power tools. Use hand tools. Because when you go to put them in, you'll strip out the maple wood inside the neck pocket. And then you'll have the problem I did. I'll let this slide with a seller. I'll mention it to him, but you know, I can fix this. It's not a problem. But if you're out there and you've got an issue with a guitar, similar sort of problem, yeah, it's not fun. You could also drop a bit of uh, like a wooden matchstick in there, just a bit of super glue, trim it all down. Uh, so you've, you sort of plug the holes and dowels, that sort of thing, sand them down, re drill the holes, and then do it that way. But yeah, because these are stripped out and these are a little bit heftier, as you can see, we should be good. So that's my tip for the day. I'm going to get this all buttoned back up and hopefully she plays good. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Just a short video on a Friday afternoon and that'll do for today. So thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace. There you go. All back together. Tuned it all up. There's no gap there at all. Bigger screws. Remove the shim. Job done.